Hi everybody, this is Bug S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Amazon exclusive Family Matters 3 pack. So, before we take a look at Magneto and Quicksilver, let's take a look at Scarlet Witch first. So for her accessories, she comes with two of these magic effects, and these are the same ones that we saw with the uh, MCU Scarlet Witch and Vision 2 pack. And you can just slide these onto her hands like this. They slide on pretty easily, and I chose to put her her thumb through that piece right there. That way it'll stay on just a little bit better. And she comes with this second magic effect piece. You can slide on like so. And like I said, they do tend to, to stay on, but sometimes they will fall off if you don't get them placed the right way. So let's go ahead and just... There. I'm sure that one's going to fall off during this review. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt for this Scarlet Witch. So Hasbro has been improving their head sculpts a lot lately. Because this head sculpt looks way, way better than the previous Scarlet Witch. And they've been doing a lot better with the hair sculpts as well. But yeah, that hair is sculpted very, very nicely. And it also has some paint variation to it too, which makes it look even better. And comparing her to the previous Scarlet Witch, here's the previous version. And honestly, they, these don't even look like the same person. They look like two entirely different people. Um, they do use the same parts. Well, minus, of course, the heels and the, uh, the lower arms right here. But everything else is the same. It's just done in a different color. Which, I like this cape better because it's a lot more pliable. And this one was pretty hard. You couldn't really... It was, a, it was a tougher kind of plastic. And this one is softer. It's not much softer, but it's a little softer than this one. But looking at the body, they did this metallic, uh, this metallic um, marbleized pink color. And that looks really, really good. It looks, it looks awesome, actually. It looks, it looks very amazing. And the body and the cape is done in a really dark red color, almost maroon. Just like her cape, with some light on it, it looks like it has like a black wash to it. But it doesn't, it's just all the wrinkles sculpted in there. And then there are her feet. And this one stands so much better, because the previous one had heels on and she can't stand at all. Like, try to get her to stand up and then she'll just fall straight over. The only way you can get this one to stand up is if you pose her like that. <laughs> That looks stupid. But that's the only way you can get her to stand up is to lean her against her cape. And this one stands up just fine because she has normal feet instead of those heels. So yeah, the, the color on this is just amazing. I, I really like that. Uh, I couldn't think of the word marbleized earlier. That marbleized metallic pink plastic that they're using for her arms and torso and legs. And the uh, that maroon color is painted on down here, but it looks good. You can't tell that they painted that over this. So yeah, this, this Scarlet Witch is such an improvement. Like I said, this head sculpt just looks really good. Like the eyes came out really clean. And they got her hair right there. And this one, this one just, yeah. Does, like I said, it doesn't even look like the same person. So yeah, this version, version is definitely better. So now let's go over her articulation. She has a ball jointed head that can't look back at all because of her hair. She might be able to move back just a little bit more if you remove the cape. Um, she can look down slightly, but nothing too gray. She can move her head side to side. She has ball jointed shoulders that can move out all the way. She has single jointed elbows that bend in that far, swivel side to side. She has swivel thrust that can move side to side and up and down. She has a ball jointed diaphragm that can move back all the way. It can move forward all the way. It can move side to side. She has ball jointed hips that can move out that far. She can kick forward all the way. She can kick back all the way. She has swivel at the thigh, double jointed knee, swivel at the ankle that can move down all the way, up all the way, and an ankle rocker. So the articulation is pretty good on her too. Um, my previous Scarlet Witch, I did need to, uh, to say this. Um, the knee broke, the, uh, the heels broke, which it was probably for me trying to pose her around is why they broke, and her elbow broke, because all of the joints on this one were pretty crunchy, 
And, you know, that, that was back before I knew the, the boiling water trick to get them uh, unstuck. But, yeah, the articulation is definitely better on this one because the joints move pretty fluidly. You know, they don't have any problems like the previous one did. So, now, let's take a look at Quicksilver. So, for his accessories, he comes with an alternate pair of running hands. And those pop off pretty easily. And these pop on pretty easily. There. They don't actually make that popping noise, so the first time I popped these off, I was trying to force them in even more. But they just go in like that. They go in pretty easily. There he is with his accessories. He has these running hands. Though, you're probably only going to be able to use them for running hands, because if you have them down like that, he looks like he's getting ready to perform some karate moves on you. Let's go ahead and just, let's just switch out one of the hands here. That way he has one fisted hand and one of the running hands on so now let's take a look at the head sculpt for Quicksilver. So taking a look at him, I, I think the expression is good. I love the face sculpt. I feel like I feel like it's a reuse. I can't put my finger on what it would be though. But uh, the hair, I feel like the hair just isn't right. I feel like it's way too gray. Like the color should have been what his eyebrows are, like that really really light gray, almost white color. And comparing this to the previous Quicksilver figure. His hair color was a lot better. Plus, he doesn't have these two pieces of hair standing up right there. That's kind of like Quicksilver's trademark thing. They're they're just slightly standing up right there. So while I do like the the head sculpt right here, how he kind of has that smirk, you know, because that's kind of how Quicksilver is. Um, I'm not a fan of the hair sculpt. I, I mean, the hair sculpt looks good and has some. Uh, a little bit of paint variation to it, but I don't feel like it's a good fit for Quicksilver. So I, I might try and repaint it white, that might make it look a little better. But I really wish they would have kept the two pieces of hair right here on him. That would have looked a lot better. Um, looking at these side by side, these are vastly different. Um, this uses the Sunfire body mold. And I can't remember what figure used this body mold. This may have been the first figure to use this body mold back. Uh, this was Hasbro's second series. This was from the Blob Wave. And yeah, he's just really short. His proportions are pretty off. And he has these really weird hands. And some of the white has turned a little yellowish from time. But yeah, that this is the previous version from the uh, Blob Build figure. So, taking a look at the body, I've seen a lot of people complaining about the paint apps on theirs, but mine came out pretty clean. I mean, there's some pieces that are missing here and there, but it's nothing I can't fix up myself. They did his uh, torso right here. It's it's not really quite as marbleized as this, but they tried to do that marbleized collar to it. It's kind of like a pearlescent white collar. It's not quite silver, and it's not quite white either. It's kind of like a, a pearlescent white collar. And they tried to paint that on right here, but it, it kind of looks a little flat. They should have made it just a little bit shinier. But yeah, there's some, some pieces missing here and there from it, but it doesn't look all that bad in my opinion. Like right here is the most noticeable place on it from where it's missing that paint. As you can see, they painted the black one right here. And there is there is a lot of blue showing through. It almost looks like a, a navy blue right there instead of black because that didn't get painted on the greatest. The whole body is done in a flat blue collar, and the only paint that it has on it is right here for the lightning, and right here for his uh, for his trunks, I guess you'd call them, which it kind of shows up blue because they didn't paint the black on there all the way. And here are the hands where I was saying it has that marbleized pearlescent white collar to it, and even his hands have that collar to it, and I think it looks really good. They didn't quite capture it right here, but you know, that's that's not a huge gripe. It just looks really good. You can tell really right here, you can tell a lot more of that uh, that marbleization is going on on his feet here. Okay, so now let's go over his articulation. He has a ball jointed head that can move back all the way. It can look down all the way. He can move his head side to side. He has ball jointed shoulders that can move out all the way. He has butterfly joints. He has swiveled the bicep, double jointed elbow, swiveled the wrist that can move side to side and up and down. He has an ab crunch that can move back all the way and forward all the way. He has swivel at the waist. It does make kind of a clicking noise when you move it. 
He has ball jointed hips that can just about do a complete split. He can kick forward all the way. He can kick back just a little bit. He has swiveled the thigh, double jointed knee, swiveled the shin, swiveled the ankle. He can move down all the way and up all the way and an ankle rocker. So, if you have the Sunfire figure or any of the other figures that use that body mold, you'll pretty much know what to expect from the articulation of this guy. So, I do like him, but I do feel like the hair could have been a little bit better. I feel like they should have made his eyebrows and his hair the same color because it's just too gray. His hair is white, not gray. So, I don't like that about him. And finally, we're going to take a look at this star of this set, Magneto. And he comes with the most accessories here. So, first up... He comes with alternate hands here, which these are a little bit difficult to get off here, probably because I'm doing it behind the camera. So he comes with some fisted hands right here. Let's go ahead and put them on. There. And uh, let's put the right one on. Now it pops into place a lot easier. He comes with these two magnetic effects here. It's done in that same kind of color that uh, Silver Surfers was done in. How it has those kind of sparkles put in there. And they're done out of a lot more pliable plastic than the first ones were. But they are purple. It looks pretty good. And you can just slide them onto his forearms like that. And of course they do tend to, to not actually sit where they're supposed to. Well, that one did. So there he is with those effects on him. And he does come with an alternate head sculpt here. So there is the angry Magneto head sculpt. And that looks really good. I actually think I like it better than the standard sculpt. Because taking a look at this head sculpt, I feel like the head fits in the helmet a lot better. And his eyes look really good how they outline them in black. And his teeth are painted on really good. Though I wish they would have painted some black uh, before they painted the teeth on. Because it's just skin color right there. But still, it, it's a really good head sculpt. And then this one, I feel like this one sits down farther in the helmet. I don't know, is it just me? And this one has just a little bit of paint variation to it. It's supposed to be like a like some shadowing that they painted over there. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and put his other helmet here. Oh, wait. Before I do that, I wanted to see if this worked. Of course, this one's going to be hard to pop on there. There. Okay, so yeah, that does work. This is the head sculpt, uh, the um, un unhelmeted head sculpt from the Mar the all new, all different Marvel Magneto. And like I said, this is the 90s Magneto head sculpt and this is the 90s Magneto look. So I'm glad that head does fit on there because I'm definitely going to be using that head sculpt on this body instead of with the previous figure. So now let's go ahead and pop the normal head sculpt on. It goes on a lot easier than the uh, than the angry head sculpt. But looking at this one, the eyes came out pretty clean on this one. He doesn't have any paint variation to the face like the other head sculpt does. But like I said, I feel like uh, the head sculpt does sit down in the helmet just a little bit too far. I feel like it should sit up because I'm seeing a lot of his jaw right there. So yeah, I wish his head would sit up just a little bit higher in the helmet. And I want to say that this this cape is what they used on the previous Magneto, the uh, the one from the Jubilee Way. But it does have some nice paint variation here. How it has that uh, really really dark purple shading to it. And it looks really good. It they don't use any of that shading down here. It's just towards the top right here where all the wrinkles are, and that looks good. They also use some metallic uh, purple paint for the collar there of the cape. Now it is pegged, it does peg in his back right here, and it will constantly come unpegged. And it's not glued down, it kind of just floats freely. So after the video, I probably will glue that down. Uh, I don't know if I'll glue it in his back, but I will glue this part down that way, it just doesn't float up towards his neck right there. 
Now look at this body. This uses the Spider UK body mold because it doesn't have those uh, those butterfly joints. Now the forearms here, they are new because his gloves are sculpted on there. I thought it was just painted on actually um, before I got this, but no, it's actually sculpted on, and I'm I'm happy for that because uh, when they don't sculpt things on, it just looks a little bland. You know, when it's just painted on, it's kind of flat. But yeah, they actually sculpted and painted it on. So that looks good. And he has this belt right here. And what figure? Prowler. I think this was uh, this was used with Prowler. And then looking at his feet right here. Uh, the paint apps do get kind of spotty right here. The purple is showing through the red right there. And there's some red showing through the purple down here. Which I'm glad that Hasbro chose to uh, paint these purple right here. The bottoms of his boot. Because on the prototype images, they were red. It was red right here. And I'm glad they fixed that because it needed to be all purple. So that's about all to go over with this figure. Um, it's it's a pretty simple figure, but it's it's really awesome. Because the, the, uh, the Jubilee Wave Magneto was very hard to find. But... Yeah, this, this classic Magneto is what a lot of fans wanted, and I am very happy with it. Um, before I go over the articulation here, I wanted to show him next to the only other Magneto I have. Um, this is the X-Men Legends box set Magneto. And uh, this used the Series 1 Iron Man body mold. And you can see that Marvel Legends has come a long way, because the shoulders are very bulky on this one. He has some weird proportions. And his torso kind of kind of moved really freely, but yeah, this this was an old figure. I think this is from like 2003 or 2004, and yeah, this is a 2019 figure. So of course, a lot's going to be changed there. So now let's go over Magneto's articulation. He has a ball jointed head that can look back all the way. He can look down all the way. He can move his head side to side. He has ball jointed shoulders that can move out all the way, but that will definitely move his cape up. Quite a bit. It will be touching his head if you do that. Um, he has swivel to bicep, double jointed elbows, swivel to wrist that can move side to side and up and down. He has an ab crunch that can move back all the way and forward all the way. And he can swivel his waist side to side. Let's go ahead and put that back down there. He has ball jointed hips that can only move out that far. He can kick forward all the way. He can do a karate kick there. He can kick back just a little bit. He has swivel the thigh, double jointed knee, swivel the boot, swivel the ankle to move down all the way, up all the way, and an ankle rocker. And the ankle rocker is kind of crunchy. Now my only real complaint with this figure is this head sculpt. Like I said, I feel like the head sits down on the helmet just a little bit too low. And he tends to not want to stand. He tends to kind of just... Well, I suppose if you let his cape out, then he will be able to stand leaning against his cape there. So that's not too bad. So now for size comparisons with him. I want to compare him next to Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch, and the rest of the Brotherhood here. Let's go ahead and kind of move him back just a little bit. Here is Scarlet Witch. Here is Blob. And that Blob build figure is from... Uh, 2008, 2007, somewhere in there. There is Blob. Here is Pyro. Here is Toad. He's from series one of Marvel Legends, and man, we really need a redo of him. And finally, here is Quicksilver, and Quicksilver isn't standing. I don't have these in the greatest poses. They're kind of just uh, vanilla posed right there. But there is all of the Brotherhood, and that makes me realize we really need a redone Pyro and Toad, and probably even a Blob Builder figure because the proportions are, are really weird on Blob, so it would be nice to see a redone Blob figure, maybe like a Walgreens exclusive. So overall, I would highly, highly recommend this Amazon set. It is, it is very amazing. Like, the Scarlet Witch is so much better, the Quicksilver is so much better, even though I do feel like the head sculpt isn't as good as it could be, but with a simple repaint, I think it'll make it look better. And my only complaints with Magneto is he doesn't stand the greatest, and his helmet, his head sat down on his helmet just a little bit. 
So, you know, that's that's really minor complaints. So, yeah, it's, it's a really awesome set. So, that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.